My name is uh, Markus Brinkop Rode. I'm working as a product specialist in our Klepp factory in Norway, taking uh, care of the plows and plowing equipment. And together with my colleagues Bert van der Horst and Savi Tross from Cropcare factory in Uvenep and Mechatronics, we will guide you through this product news on this station here. But uh, let me start to introduce a new member of the family of the new generation of plows. When we were visiting Norway for the same event three years ago, we started to introduce the new generation of plows, taking all the mechanical components of the eye plow, such as the aero profile legs and the centrally adjustable skimmers and the swivel wheel at the rear, also to the normal standard plow generation, giving it a more modern appearance and making it a bit more user friendly. We started with the sophisticated models, those which have a, a stepless adjustable working width. Three years ago, introducing the first uh, lot of new generation plows. This is uh, the youngest member of the family as a more basic uh, model with a stepwise adjustable working width. And uh, so step by step, we are introducing all the, new de all the details of the new generation of plows to our existing ranges. Coming along with uh, body number 28, this is uh, one method to reduce the pulling forces or the, the diesel uh, consumption when moving the soil quite uh, nicely. And we could operate this plow, this 5-4 plow, even with a 120 horsepower tractor. So this is uh, one of the things we brought to you. Afterwards, I would like to draw your attention to the Ecomat on land. As I said, uh, reversible or reversing tillage with a plow is often considered as a quite old-fashioned and uh, time and diesel consuming way of doing the primary tillage. On the other hand, people focus, farmers focus on a clean seed bed and would like to have uh, reduced use of uh, chemicals in order to, to protect the germinating crop from diseases. That's why we thought we should focus on a clean seed bed at a reduced plowing depth. So we put uh, these uh, smaller plow bodies on a standard reversible plow and uh, make sure that the cylindrical shape of the bodies does a full reversal of the soil. And with the specific accessories, the, the residues and the organic material will be guided to, towards, the, towards the ground. Having used this uh, kind of implement since almost 15 or even 20 years right now, it was a rather small implement which could go with smaller tractors and the tractor had to go in the furrow. Now there's a demand for even higher efficiency, higher acreage coverage and uh, the use of bigger tractors with white or twin tires is required. So that doesn't really match together with these small plow bodies any longer. And that's why we put uh, the well-proven concept of the 3400 plow, which can go on land together with these Ecomat bodies and uh, make sure we can operate it as an on-land implement. Let's talk about precision on the sprayer and precision on the, uh, on the sprayer and on the spreader. Uh, to start with the spreader, um, with the current fertilizer prices and uh, uh, the application, the exact application, everybody is talking about electronic spreaders. Huh? The electronic spreaders we already know for a long time, huh? the TL Geo spread with a PTO driven machine, the machine we have. Um, the essence in an electronic spreader is that you tell the spreader exactly what you put into it. Huh? We still use the shaker box because that's the most reliable and the most easy way to tell the spreader what's in exactly in the hopper. And if we don't tell the spreader what's in the hopper, you can't expect the spreader that it knows what will come out, even an electronic spreader. 
What we have in the back is the next step in spreading is the IDC, the intelligent disc control. And on that machine we make a hydraulic drive on each disc. And with that we can control the discs independently, the RPMs. What we do with that is the smart thing that if we are on border spreading and we lower the exact line, the border spreader device, that automatically the load sensing machine will lower the RPMs on the field side and keeps the RPMs on the field side. On the border side lowers, on the field side it stays. That means that on the field side the spreading pattern is more precise. More precise gives a bit more yield on the field side. So that's more precision and on the border side it's better spreading on the border which is automatically when you lower the device. If you put it up you can never forget to put back the RPMs. So that's a good example of intelligent uh, electronics in this machine. The reason we put the front and the rear is that with the increasing hopper capacity that more and more people use blends. Two fertilizers in one hopper. And what we advise, don't do that. Here I have an example of several fertilizers in one hopper and if you have the time, look how they are unmixing already in this small box. What will happen in your spreader? They are unmixing and if you have two different fertilizers, you need two different settings on the machine. Else you cannot spread each fertilizer to the maximum uh, of its needs. So don't blend the fertilizer, put each fertilizer in a hopper, make each the exact right uh, setting and you're spreading exactly right. Not only the fertilizer is spread right, but also the nutrients are spread exactly over the field. Therefore the front rear combination as we put it here. In the machine there's now the application spot spraying, which by sections based on the variable rate map will close and open the sections and then on the parts of the field you have just selected where you don't want to spray, it will not open. Uh, that saves a lot of chemicals, a lot of uh, use of the machine and it will increase your capacity of course. This uh, application spot spray is not only for the high-end machines in our range but also for the very basic and also the mounted machines. So it can be for any machine because it's not only the big farms and the big customers who can reduce their chemicals, also the smaller farms can do it with this way. And it's only adding one license to the, uh, to the implement. So one license and you can do the spot spray. Here we have the spot spray on the 25 cent on the, on the Xflow E on the circulation system. The circulation system is patented by Kernland as we have it uh, here uh, built in the machine. And it is with the single nozzle, the stainless steel nozzle uh, valves, each on every nozzle a single one on the 50 centimeters. On top of that we added the 25 centimeter, 25 centimeter nozzle distance and 25 centimeter nozzle distance combined with a lowered boom height is in some countries a low drift uh, technique which is uh, uh, implicated by legislation. But for the countries who don't have it in the legislation, they also have a second tool to have a different droplet size and a different application to apply the chemicals to the plant. You have a smaller uh, nozzle, nozzle size, so a smaller droplet size which better uh, sticks to the plant and you have a, a second tool to uh, do your precision spraying. And that of course also requires a good boom guidance system and here we are on the next generation boom guiding system which automatically keeps the boom stable even at this low boom height.